You know when previously I mentioned that I was having a bit of a bad groin? Well, it seems to be playing up again. I can feel something on the inside of my right leg. I don't know what it is. I spoke to the physios. I spoke to the medical teams and I just can't work out what this minor injury is. It is affecting my game a little bit and I'm definitely not 100% fit. Maybe it's because we were a sub, but now we're playing 90 minutes twice every single week. We're going to have to fight through the injuries today and hopefully perform. So game one, we need an 8.5 match rating, a cross rate of 25% and one goal from outside the box. That's going to be a bit difficult. And hopefully, guys, you like the new kit. It has been up there for a while. I don't really know why I've not worn it so far in the series, but we've got it on now and we really do feel like part of the team. Here we go. Come on. Game one. Dressing early into us. Come on, left back. Get around me. Got to get inside. Good decoy, you. Inside ball for Bugia. Yep, I find you. Go on then, Bugia. Get the shot off. Good save by the goalkeeper. Really promising start from us here in the first game of this episode. Good tackle from us there. Here's Bertignoli on the ball. Goes inside to Beasley. Beasley into us. Left back, get around me, please. If you can, I'll use you as a decoy again and get inside. Loads of space. Shot outside the box. Yes, please. Okay, it's a sighter. The only reason why I've done that is because of one of our objectives, okay? Maybe we won't do that, we won't do that again this game, though. Let's see. Just Dana. Finds us on the left. Here we go, then. A little bit of skill. No, okay, find the fullback. Oh, I've stitched it up there big time. What am I doing there? And Koulibaly's going to have a lot of space to break here. He slipped it inside for Imelo, who's got loads of space. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Imanello gets a shot off and it's in the back of the net. And that has came on the back of my stupid error. A hospital pass into our left-back Alde. And you know what? I'm going to take full responsibility for that goal because, yes, he travelled a long way with the ball, but that's came from me giving the ball away stupidly and setting up my teammate to panic. My bad. Let's try and recover ourselves. We've beaten him. How's the cross? It's a good pick out. Oh, okay, that's going to damage the cross rating. Easily. Chance. Oh, not me. Okay, fine. I'll have it. Through ball. There you are, son. Finish. Surely. What a save from the goalkeeper. Carrado on it. Looks for us. Finds us. Another shot, maybe. We bend it. Oh, that's a good save, that one. That was an opportunity that we had a right to take on there, and it was a good effort. It wasn't telegraphed, heading into the far corner. In the end, it's a good save. Let's try and get a good ball in here with this cross. Come on, right on the brink of the end of the half. We've had five shots already. Ball's gone inside. He's won by Sishana. Yeah, if you can, if you can. No. If you can, if you can. No. Damn it. Yep, yep. I'm on side. Oh, he's not got there. Right, I need an option. Bianchi edge. There you are. Finish. Finish. Yes! Great finish into the far left corner. I thought the goalkeeper was going to save that, but in the end, it's one all. And there's the gaffer reacting with the subs on the bench. They're happy, but staying calm as well. Really good in the end. We found Bianchi there with a good pick out. It won't count as a cross for our objective, but the more important thing is we've got an assist and a crucial goal in this game. And there's going to be an opportunity now to go and win this game as well, because we've got time. Get in there. Cassandro gets inside. Koulibaly. Good tackle from us. Easily on the ball now. Yes, Bianchi, if you can, if you can. Good header. Going to try and skip round on the outside. Just going to try and run. We'll take him down the line. And beat him down the line. Brilliant play from us. We're going to hit the byline here. And Bianchi, where are you? There you are, son. Put it in the net for us. Oh, good save. It's good play from us down the side. Got right against the byline. Found our strike partner. Nearly a repeat of the first goal. But unfortunately, he couldn't convert. Biashi comes forward late on with the ball. Goes inside for his teammate Kudabali. Kudabali's going to have space because we're not shutting it down. Goes inside for Biashi. Last chance of the game, probably. Biashi on the ball. Kudabali. And this is probably going to be it. It's going to finish one all here, unless the opposition here, Catania, I think it is, score. Kudabali on the ball. And that is full time. Breccia 1, Countenzaro 1. Okay, it was an opportunity for three points, definitely. One all though, it's not the end of the world because we didn't lose. We had a lot of chances, we were in the game, we got an assist. Probably could have been a bit better with our decision making, but overall, not a bad performance at all. Okay, let's just try and build on this and get a win in the next game. Latinelli on the ball, goes inside for Beasley. Beasley looks for inside, we've gone inside. Latinelli into us, left back, are you there? It's a nice little ball for him. Alde, come back if you need. Nice, uh, feet of the striker, I see you. You're onside, you're onside. Oh, nah, damn it, I think that was tight. I think that was tight to be honest with you. Ah, well. Good Adorni. He silly wins it. Into us. Love it. Boogie our feet. Oh, it's a poor pass, but Boogie has got there. Reverse it, reverse it. Nice. A little bit of footwork. Get the shot off. Ah, good block, good block. Try and win the header. We might have won the ball back. We have won it back. Bianchi gets the shot off, saved by the goalkeeper. We battled hard there after getting our shot blocked, and it's gone behind for a corner kick. Here we are on it. 
We need to try and find Chistana at the front post because he is the threat for us. Not much power. It's gone in towards him. He's got the connection. It's gone behind for another corner. It's hard to score from that angle, to be fair. So we'll go a bit deeper on this one. But he is winning headers at the front post. Bit more height. Bit more power. Ball goes in a bit deeper this time. In towards Adorni. He gets the attempt. No. Damn it. They go wide. Into Vignato. Vignato goes back. Patient build-up by Pisa here. They're going to have opportunities to get a shot off, maybe. Marine slips it wide. Good ball. Dickman has to get tight here. Ball's pulled back. Loads of space. Good save by Andrew Really good build-up by Pisa. And unfortunately, well, I say fortunately, sorry, for us, it didn't go into the back of the net. Yep, yep, yep. Last tackle of the half. Chance. Going to get down the line here. Loads of space to get down the line. Ball inside for Bianchi. It's on his head. Oh, no. Chance, though. Bertignoli. Oh, he, he loses it, though, and that will be half-time. Free kick, actually, he's given it. Don't take it quick. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I'm over it. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah. Get myself ready for this. Right, come on. Over the wall and in. Come on, believe. Don't think the power's great. No, into the wall. Going to get the shot off. And it's wide and half time. Okay. I just pass it. Oh, ref has a foul. Okay, we'll take that. Good start to the half. Go short and get a return. Yes, set, set, set. Nice. Into Bianchi. Oh, no, it's going to fall nicely for us, though. Get the shot off. And it's in. We're I can't speak. A bit of fortune. It was a horrendous attempt at a through ball from us. But we got the ricochet back into our path. We end up going one-on-one. -on -one, and we've put ourselves into the lead in a crucial away match at Pisa. Our fourth goal of the season. If you watch here, it's a shocking pass. We played a 1-2 with the centre half. Got in. Hammered it near post. 1-0. Come on. What? Two. Yeah. Come on, lads. Get in. That's huge. Laris inside. Oh, no. It's a good ball. Moreo gets a shot off. Good save by the goalkeeper. There we go. Good play. Alde, go inside to the striker if you want. Bugiar's there. Finds him in the pocket. Bugiar. Bugiar gets the shot off. Good save by the goalkeeper. It's good play from us, though. Patient build up. We don't mind it. Corner to come in. And it's an outswinger with the left foot. Ball comes in from Carrado. It's in towards Bianchi. Can't win the header. Beastly. Can you get a contact? He does. We're on the edge of the box if you want to find us, Carrado. I'm going to just try something here. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to find Beasley. Oh, no. We find Carrado in a better position. Gets the shot off. Good save by the goalkeeper. Another chance created. It wasn't intended, but we'll take it. A corner now for us. I'm going to try and find Chief Stone at the front post. He's got his hand up. Not much power. And it's in towards him. Gets the header in. And it's saved by the goalkeeper. But good play over round. Sorry, overall. Marine. Good tackle, Beasley. Really good tackle. Bugia. We're going to make this a 2v1 scenario. Bianchi, if you can turn. Yes, Bugia. Slips. Finds us. We're in. And it's 2-0 to Breccia. I'm onside. We've timed our run to perfection. The pass was perfectly executed. And it's our second brace for Brescia and our fifth goal of the season. We are cooking away at Pisa. And this will be a huge result because, as I said, they're fifth in the league. We're ninth. We're going to be right behind them now. The left back was playing us onside. Good calm finish. And the goals are coming. Those sessions from the last episode, the individual sessions, they're paying off now. Come on. Whoa, two, yep. Tremoni on the ball. Last attack for Pisa of the game. It looks like we've got the three points here at Pisa, which would be fantastic. Vignato on it. Goes inside for Adorni to get the shot off. It's comfortable for the goalkeeper. And that is that. A massive win at the start of this episode. Two games in, four points, not a goal conceded. Two goals as well. Really good day at the office there against a good side in Pisa as well, who did sit fifth coming into this fixture. Really happy with that. Five goals this season. And let's just carry on this run and get into the third match. Over the top. Yep, through, through, through. Great ball by Tignoli. And we've got space here. I'm going to try and go at him and then we'll get a pick out. We've beaten him on the outside. Right, blue shirt, blue shirt, blue shirt, blue shirt. Pick out. It's poor. I'm going to try and turn and get us down the line. We'll beat him. And we'll try and advance up the pitch a bit. We've got loads of space actually to run. Loads of space. How's the pick out this time? We get the ball into the box. It's a good ball in. It's one though. Can you win that, Bugiar? No, unlucky. What about you, Bertignoli? He can win it. We'll do the same situation. We'll get down the line beautifully. Ball into the box. We need someone there. Bugiar, I see you. We find him. Oh, it's unlucky. Oh, it's a good through ball from De Luca. And the goalkeeper has to come out. He's dinked in beautifully. Cleared off the line. Incredible. Fantastic even. Now we've got to do our bit. Wow. What a clearance off the line. I think it might have been Dickman round the back or Adorni even. What a clearance off the line. And that keeps us goalless going into the break. It's fair to say we need to improve our game, but the defence that game, sorry, this half, have been fantastic. We do win it back high. Fantastic from us. 
Be patient. Oh, good ball cross. Bianchi, second attempt. What a double save from the goalkeeper that is. Carrado on it. Into Bisoli. Finds us. Bit of skill. Oh, we've got random this time. Chance on the left foot. Another save from the goalkeeper. Unbelievable. Three instant saves for him. And, they've, and he's kept it at 0-0 brilliantly. Well done, Chistana. Wins it high. And you might be on side, Bugia. It's a good ball. Is he on? No, he's not. I checked straight away at the linesman because I was a bit like that. But unfortunately, he was offside. Oh, he's been done there. Vasquez with a shot. Good hands by the goalkeeper. I'm going to call for this if we can. I'm in a good position. We'll get it. I'm just going to head it because of the height of it. Alde, into the striker, please. Okay, fine. Into us. Bugia, where are you going to run? Okay, we've got space to run here. We've got serious space to run. We could be in on goal. A little cut in. It's nice. Front post. Ah, oh, that's a good save. Maybe far post could have been a better option there. We've done well to get inside, but unfortunately couldn't convert. And we've been subbed off. Wow, okay, that's a statement from the gaffer. 6.4 match, match rating, that does make sense, I guess. Alexander Jallo is on instead of me, who is a fullback, by the way. So I'm a little bit insulted by that, but to be fair, we've played a lot of football recently. It's okay, it's okay. It's still nil-nil, though. What I'm going to do is I'll watch the rest of the game. If anything happens, then I will obviously show you guys. Here comes Carrado then. Last attack of the match here. There could be an opportunity if he gets to cross him. He's not going to put it in straight away. He's going to play it short into Dickman. Dickman on the ball now. This will be the last attack of the game. It's given away though and that should be that. It's going to finish goalless here at Cremonese. It's another point on the board but you could argue it's two points dropped because of the triple save of their goalkeeper midway through the second half. But it's okay. I don't mind. If we get a win in the last game, eight points from four games would be a fantastic return. So let's just try and get out there, win the next match. Let's just hope we just start because to get plugged like that after 80 minutes, I'm a bit concerned. I mean, it's a fair decision, but you never know. We might be on the bench next time around. So I can confirm, as you can see, we are starting today. So clearly from the gaffer, it was just a tactical decision, which is absolutely fair enough. And we did run ourselves into the ground, despite not really contributing as such in the attacking phase. But let's just hope today against fourth placed Bari, we can get a result. And again, it would help us climb the table. Beastly, yeah? Good ball. Here we go. Bugia on the ball. Finds us out wide. There's an opportunity here. I need to be sensible with my decision making. We get inside onto the right foot. Oh, I've kind of overran it. We'll find Beastly. It's not great for me there. Into Bugia, who looks to find a slip ball maybe. Nope. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to take responsibility for that. I cut inside nicely, but then I just kind of, you know, got a bit nervous. Didn't know what I'd do with the ball. Good tackle, Beastly. And a good pick out as well. Here's Bugia. If he can turn and play. This would be good for us. Bianchi on the ball now. Look inside. There's two of us arriving. Finds us. Going to try and slip it into Bugia. Oh, no, you ran the wrong way. Oh, I can't speak. But either way, it was poor from me and poor from the striker. Again, we just weren't in sync. Folletti, space to shoot again. Might have a chance here. Gets the ball into Lasagna, who has space to shoot and gets it into the back of the net. I was pressing RB to try and make our centre-backs press. It wasn't working. They get the shot off and Lasagna puts the away side ahead. It's 1-0. And I'm just kind of regretting that chance now where me and Bianchi weren't in sync because that has in a way cost us. Bugia wins his header. Good header. Going to try and stand up the player here. It's good defending from him though. Is there going to be a blue shirt available? Maybe one to the edge. We find Alde, the left back, who can't release it in time. He finds us though. Bianchi, I need you to spin or do something. It's not really working there, is it? Bissolo on the ball. Goes inside for Bianchi. Bianchi looks to turn. Great ball through for Bugia, who makes it 1 all. And to be fair, I did just cr criticise Bianchi, our number nine there, but really well played there, sir. Fantastic. He turned beautifully, slipped into his strike partner, Bugia, and sometimes I just need to stay out of the way, let them crack on, do their business, because that is what they're capable of. Brilliant link up with the strike partnership there. And yeah, we're level. We're level straight away. Really good turn, great ball through, and fantastic finish. Sometimes I do go inside a bit too often, and I just need to hold my shape out wide. Going to call for this inside. Bugia, yep, good ball. Going to try and slip this in to our player. Carrado looks for me, or oh, it's unlucky. It's going to drop nicely for us, though. We're onside! And Radunovic makes a fantastic save. We're offside, actually. It's annoying. It's tight, though. It's very tight. Not a bad effort, but a fantastic save. But it don't matter because we were offside. Carrado on the ball. Yep. Great ball. Bianchi, come feet. There you go, mate. Hold it, hold it. Yes, go on. Go on, play me. Yeah, great ball. I'm in. Chance. Finesse. Oh, it's a bit telegraphed. It's really telegraphed. Bianchi. Yeah, play me, play me, play me. Play me. Good ball. Touch is good. And that is poor in the end. I've got to do better. I'm getting impatient again. Come on. Inside, Bisoli. Bertignoli finds Bisoli. Bisoli. With space, finds us. 
Bianchi, I see you. Good turn. Is on side. Looks for me again. We get the shot off. It's in the back of the net. I was just being concerned there about getting subbed off. In the end, I've linked up brilliantly with Bianchi there. Previously, we weren't in sync, but we showed signs of potential that this could work this game. The link up there was fantastic. And this time, we made no mistake one-on-one. -on -one. Brilliant ball by Bianchi. A great turn again. A little flick around the corner. And Beastly, I couldn't play in there because he was offside. We find the net. Big goal for this club that could be. Come on. Whoa, two. Yeah, don't worry. I don't forget. I'm in that central position again. I've got it in the pocket. Bianchi, I see you. Great run. Great ball. You're in, lad. You're in. Or play me. He's played me instead. We're in. Chance. Oh, what a finish. That's so composed. And Bianchi, don't go the other way, son. Come to me because that is all you again. Absolutely fantastic by the number nine to play me at the spot on time there. Look at this for a bit of a play. Okay, he's going to show our POV. That's fine. It's a really composed finish. And that makes it four goals for the episode as well. But Bianchi, what a ball this is. A little lay just into my path. I come onto it. We burst through the defence and slot it home nicely. A professional finish. And those individual sessions, guys, they're working. The shooting sessions are working. What? Two. Yeah. Can Adorni win the header? He can. And we're just going to hoof this away. That could be that. And it is that. What an episode. What an episode. Four goals, one assist. Two wins, two draws, unbeaten, only the one goal conceded, eight points on the board, a fantastic return, and I can't wait to see the league table. And to be fair, we could be in the running for player of the month. If, say, our goal run started at the start of the month, and now it's towards the end of the month, then we could be on for it. It's just where our goals started mid-month, and then obviously they went into the next month, if that makes sense. But overall there, two goals, fantastic return for this match. Another brace, our Third brace for the club, I think. So really good stuff there. So let's see the lead table because this could look promising. Now that looks seriously, seriously promising. First of all, a massive shout out to the back four and the goalkeeper. 15 goals conceded in 25 games. That means we've got a minimum of 10 clean sheets this season. So a fantastic performance there defensively. Going forward, yes, only 24 goals, but that's fine because I think we've contributed to 12 of them, I want to say. But more importantly, let's look at the league table now. It is really tight with three teams on 38 points, but we're miles away now from Tudetrol, who sit 10th. Seven point gap there. But looking up the table now, we're only three points behind two teams in Palermo and Bari. So a real opportunity for us next episode to try and close the gap and maybe get into fifth place, which would definitely see us into a playoff position. Looking up the table now, if we can get it up, it's Modena who are top with 50 points. And just to let you know, if you look to the left of the screen there, that's who we have in our next match. So a real opportunity for us to set a statement to the league and get a result away at Modena. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure you drop a like on the video as always. Make sure you drop a comment as well, rating my performance out of 10. And any cutscenes you want to see at the start of episodes, please let me know them in the comments as well, okay? Enjoy the rest of your weekend and enjoy next week as well. I'll be back on Tuesday with the next episode, okay? And I will see you then. Whoa, Sue. Yep. All the best.